Okay, so we're back here and what we're going to be doing in uh, this project here is we're going to be painting this side of the uh, three quarter inch door, door casing. Now the walls have already been, been uh, done and this was a new casing so what they did was they, uh, is they uh, put this up then, then they caulked it uh, and then they painted the uh, walls first and they cut in. So what we're left here is this, is this bare edge right here. And when I painted this casing from here to here, I used the uh, two and a half inch brush, but that brush is, uh, too, is, is uh, too large to paint this three quarter inch surface area here. So what I have is my two inch brush here. Um, so, and we're not gonna use tape, we're gonna do it freehand. And I'm gonna use my, uh, my uh, left hand here to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to uh, cut this side of, of the uh, casing. So now the walls are done, so we can't, so we have to be careful to uh, get a uh, straight line on, 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 onto the wall here. So I'm going to grab my paint here and I'm just going to just dab it in and I'm going to get as much off as I can there. I'm going to put this down here. I'm going to transfer the brush to my left hand here. And now I'm going to come up to the uh, top here. And when I come up to the top, I'm not going to come up to the very top. I'm going to come up to like three quarters of the way and I'm going to press in and release the paint uh, just in the middle of it there and go down with it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the brush around here and come into it and go down with it there. So what that's going to do is that's going to get rid of the paint on, on either side of the brush here and it's going to put it to a bead in the middle of this three quarter inch door, door casing here. So with my brush that doesn't have a lot of paint on it now, I'm going to come up to the top, grab some of that paint there, bring it up to the top and go down with the middle there. Now I'm going to use this side here as 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 an area to like clean it off if 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 the uh, if the bead uh, get 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 it gets too much here. So I'm going to clean that off here. Now I'm going to come back into it, work it into the corner there. I'm going to do it again and come down with it. Now there's a, there's a little bit too 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 much paint that is gathered here on, on, on the brush. So I'm going to wipe it on the door casing and then feather that off there. Now I'm going to come back into it and come down with it. Um, so I'm going to come back here, come into it and go down with it. So I'm pretty happy with that there. Uh, there's an area here that needs uh, I need to go a little further so I'm going to come into it and go down with it. Now this will leave some paint on like this edge here so what you want to do is just take your brush and feather that off there. So I'm going to load back up here and get the paint off here and then use my right or my left hand here to come into it here and disperse the paint in the middle of it. Turn the brush around and come down with it. Okay, so it's all lo loaded up there. And now I'm going to come back here, grab some paint, work it into the corner there, and just come down with it. Now I'm going to transfer the brush to my right hand here to, uh, to uh, get this. Turn the brush around in the corner and come up with it. Now I'm going to clean off this here. If there's anything there. So uh, so that that door casing is done there. Um, and again, this is just the uh, first coat because this is new uh, door door casing, so it's going to get two coats. Um, so we're just going to do that one more time there. Um, and, that, and as you can see, what what sort of line that 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 it leaves. Um, and if you don't get it perfect on like this coat, on the second coat, you can perfect it. Um, so, um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, come over here now and we're going to paint this side here of the uh, door casing. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my right hand here to uh, do this one. So I'm going to just dab this in here and get rid of the paint. And then... I'm going to come up here 
not to the top, and just go down with it. Turn the brush around and come down with it. Okay, so now the paint head is, is off the brush here. Come back to the top here, grab, grab a little bit, and then bring it up into the corner here. Work it into the corner and come down with it. Now there's a lot of paint here that is starting to uh, pull to a uh, pull up here on the brush, so I'm gonna clean it off there and then fed it and then fed that off. And I'm gonna come back up here and work it in there and come down with it. So I'm gonna load back up here again. Now, I'm not too ha happy about this here because because there wasn't a lot of paint, so I'm gonna re release more paint in the middle there. I just come down with that, bring this down here, and that gets all the paint off the brushes, all, all, all the bristles there. We'll work it back up here and then come into this. So what we're basically doing is we're dragging a bead in the corner. And, and as you can see here, it like started to like build up. So what I did was I came out, I came away from, from the wall. I'm gonna, clean, I'm gonna clean it off here and then feather that off. And then come back into this area where it has a lot of paint and come down with it. So I'm going to load that, that back up here, bring it down like that, that, come back up here, and come into it. And go up with it, and then feather off the yeah, face of the door casing here. Now, again, this is the uh, first coat here, and on the first coat, there's a lot of friction with the brush and the paint and the door casing because it's uh, just pre-primed. So once this dries here, um, when you go to do your uh, second coat, the uh, brush is, is gonna glide a, 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 a lot better, and it's just not gonna have as much surface friction as, as we do here because it's uh it's just it's just the yeah, pre-primed uh, door door casing here and uh, this is a, a satin machine so once you have at least one one coat up there then when you go to do the second coat it'll just glide better and it'll it'll be a lot e easier to uh, to uh, control so um, so these are just some tips and techniques um, if if the walls are already done and you want the trim to be painted but you don't want to do a tape off the wall um, or or get a lot of paint on onto the wall. You will just get a, a little bit of like an edge, the same kind of edge as as if you were cutting in against the ceiling and you overlap ever so lightly onto the ceiling. That's like the same I idea here, is to overlap just slightly onto the wall there, um, so that appears that it's a, a straight line. And again, this is just going to get um, one more coat. So, um, so that's how you uh, cut in the sides of the, do of the uh, door casings when, when the walls are, are already done. Thanks for watching.